Hi guys, it's your Morgan and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm doing a DIY. I'm going to take you back to when I did my Z Gallery tour um, after Christmas. And they had this bling wrap candle that I wanted to do. And remember, I'm going to show you this candle was, oh my gosh, the candle was $49.95. So I'm going to see if I can dupe that here with this Dollar Tree um, votive. So this is really, really pretty at the Dollar Tree and it cut, sort of have like an amber and it has crackling glass. And of course you could just leave it like this, but the purpose of this video, we're going to do a gallery. And then again, my bling wrap, I got it in gold um, because that's what they had there, the gold wrap. And you see me bling wrap this before when I did my, um, martini glass that I've used for my bathroom. I've done a lot of bling wrap glasses, but the really large one, if you ever see my master bathroom tour, that's what I used here. So I just got another piece, and these are like um, $8 or $9.99, and I'll link them at the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do this, and another thing I'm using, it's just sort of like a stick. So with this way, I'll put the glue, glue on, and I'll smudge it around, okay? And then that way I can wrap it easily. So now this is a different shape that I'm used to doing. So I have to be really careful how to do it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just look at the sample as I do this. And then this time I'm gonna actually use washable clear glue. I got this from the Dollar Tree. I never ever use Elmer's glue. And also what I did, I sampled a little bit on my crushed glass update just to see if it works because a lot of guys are intimidated by epoxies so i want to see is something like a clear and this is very clear if you can see this is a clear glue so you won't have any i guess color it just says washable i'm not sure what that meant i don't know if it just washes off but yeah it says pre-soaked 10 minutes to wash off this is not going to be washed this is not going to go in the dishwasher so it doesn't matter you know, so it's not like it's a drinkable glass. So I'm gonna do this and get started with this project. I got a brush just in case I wanna brush some along. If not, I think this will work just as well. All right, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and this is from Amazon. All right, guys, so let's get started. Okay, so from here I am going to take this off first. And this is just a sticker at the bottom of it. You could just peel it, or again, I always tell you guys, use acetone, nail polish remover, anything like to remove these stickers. And that's what I think I'll do for this one here. Okay, so I cleaned it off with some um, nail polish remover and just kind of wiped it down with some Windex. So the first thing I want to do again is get out my bling wrap. I'm going to start here. I try to make one long without cutting it if I don't have to. And I'm just kind of looking where I'm lining this up at. So I'm lining this up around here. This has to be at the top edge here. Okay, when I'm looking at, I'm actually looking at um, my clips of what I did just to see what it looks like. So it's going to start here at the top edge, as you can see. Okay, the very top edge, it has to start here. All right, again, this is the first time I'm using, usually I use E6000. I'm using this. I'm seeing how fluid this is. And matter of fact, I should just put this in something so I know that I can, you know, just wipe it. No, I could probably just dip it. You know, so I could just dip it in this way and wipe it around. Now, this is too liquid for me, or if this is not strong enough, I will go back to the E6000. I'm coming to the top edge of this. Not to have too much on here. I'm 
Like I've never used this, so let's see. I'm trying to use stuff that, you know, you guys are comfortable with. Either the E6000, you know, and try to stay away from the epoxy if I can. And try to do projects where it's a little more friendly for you guys. It's just that I have to test it out first. If it's not, you know, unfortunately, I have to go back to my epoxies. Because to me, it's nothing stronger. All right, so I made it completely around. You know, just make sure nothing drips. And again, if this doesn't work, then I'll go back to the E6000. Now the first one is going to be difficult to do. Just make sure it's down. It is a little tacky. Take your time when you first start. You gotta really be careful. All right, make sure none of these diamonds twist. Or come off the edge. Make sure you have enough glue, not too much, but enough so it can adhese. Layer carefully. Okay, so when you come around here, then you're just going to go to another loop. Okay, so so far guys, this is working. Good old fashioned Dollar Tree almost glue. All right, don't pull, just slowly lay. Make sure you have another pull here. And slowly lay across. And since this is washable glue, you can always wash your hands. Okay, take your time with this, very slow, and make sure again that this is not going over the edge. Just tap it down. And get more glue. Don't oversaturate the glue. Do you hear? If you see any drips, just scoot it up. And make sure you have a protective covering for your work. Okay. 
Make sure the diamonds are up. The gold band is down. And you see, once you start that, you see how easy you can just keep wrapping it around. And you wanna make sure that these are close together. Make sure you have pull. Mix these glue here. Make sure you work kind of under a light. Look at that so far. Gorgeous. Guys, this was $50. And it was $39.95 from Z Gallery. And this is reason why I like to dupe a lot of things. And yes, it's it's I'm pretty sure you're paying for the artist's work. You know, when you see Z Gallery things, you know, art is not cheap and you do pay for custom. Guys know that. Because unless you want to go to, you know, my favorite store, those darn home goods and Ross's and Marshall's, you can all have the same things. Or being an artist, you can, or designer, you can do it yourself. If you don't have patience, then, you know, that's when you go and purchase it. All right, here we go.
All right, guys, well, I hope you like this project. I had really fun with this, and it wasn't too difficult. It's very tedious, so just got to be really careful, especially at the very beginning and then the end, okay? Because remember when it comes to the curve, so be careful with this project. You'll love it. So, so far, the Elmer's Clear Glue worked, so just work with that one. And also, this will make a beautiful addition to anywhere in your home, on a table, dining room table. Guys, you can make these not no problem. Everything just about other than the rap was the gallery all right guys so again thank you again i put on my bar card with my glasses because everything over there was gold theme i left it there you know after the holiday so guys i was thinking about doing one for my ten thousand count subscriber and i'm shipping this time internationally as well as domestic and local so all right guys let's also get that um count up so i want you to share this video with your friends so they can try this project at home and let's get these subscribers count up to ten thousand, so we don't have to wait so long we are almost there we're almost at 9100 so let's get to ten thousand real quick so don't forget guys like comment and subscribe all right guys it's your more girl and thanks for watching my video i'll see you at a later diy don't forget we're going live soon on saturday